plates are finally here. Wait, Vermont? Welcome back everyone. Uh, this week we're going to go over um, how to get a title and plates for a, uh, a vehicle that didn't previously have a title, got lost, uh, whatnot. You know, a lot of our buses and uh, classic cars uh, no longer have titles or paperwork or documentation of any sort. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, fill out some paperwork. Uh, through Vermont of all places and um, there's a great uh, method for um, securing uh, plates through there see <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, take a look at that documentation and um, try and get old classic cars back on the road so here is uh, the form that we need to print out from the uh, Vermont DMV. Um, I'm going to post the link to this form uh, in the description. But um, basically, there's a few sections you need to fill out uh, the transaction type, the plate type, uh, the make, model, etc. of the vehicle, um, uh, 4A, which is basically your information, uh, 5B, and 6a which is actually pretty important um, the purchase price go based on the NADA um, price not we paid for it I uh, put 750 bucks for a uh, bus that I had bought but um, they will they rejected it and said that we needed the NADA price so anyway put that in there um, and there's a document that explains how to go through this form. Uh, this is just a quick uh, primer on the process. So then, you know, obviously your signature and uh, also filled out this section here. Um, it's the um, basically all the fees. So like I said, there is a form um, that you download, this guy. It comes with instructions on how to fill so it out. So after sending in the form, along with the uh, check to the DMV. Um, basically, a few weeks later, you'll get your plates and, um, and they'll, they'll give you the paperwork. It's basically a no title state. So what that means is they don't even offer a title to you. Um, so basically, you'll get a registration card which has transfer of ownership on it. You'll then take that card if you feel like not rocking the uh, Vermont plates, uh, you'll take that card to your local DMV and uh, transfer that into your name. In my example, it's Colorado. So then I'm going to um, get a title for it and take these plates off and put Colorado plates on. So all in all, it's a pretty simple process, a lot easier than going through Colorado's um, process of lost title. Uh, so I uh, hope that helps and uh, I'm gonna go slap these on the on the bus all right there it is Vermont plates on the 77 bus I am uh, stoked to be able to uh, drive legally uh, there were some complications with the pipe. Um, anyway it would have been a long drawn-out process here in Colorado um, but following Direction. I was able to uh, get Vermont plates and, uh, you know, I'll probably eventually uh, get a Colorado title for it, but at this point, I'm going to drive around with the, these VT plates on. Um, one thing I forgot to mention uh, is that we need to uh, make sure to get a uh, bill of sale from whoever you're getting the, uh, the bus or other classic car from. So, um, that about wraps it up. Uh, feel free to comment and let me know if uh, you have any questions. Um, the Vermont FAQ site is actually very good. It goes through topics, uh, probably common questions like, do I have to be a Vermont resident in order to register a vehicle? And surprisingly, you do not. So there's quite a few uh, good resources on their website. Uh, anyway, I'll try and link to that in the description. But um, hopefully this will get some old cars on the road.